Hello my friends and subscribers, I would welcome you. We are doing some Town Hall 10 Valkyrie strategy. We're going to really break it down what makes and breaks 3 star attacks using the Valkyrie strategy, Using also with the Queen Walk. I'm going to show you some of my attacks here and why they went wrong and why some went right. So the plan on this base, why I'm going to do a Queen Walk and why I started from the south. I wanted to start from the south just because I thought I could funnel. So the goal is use the Queen to clear out the left side and then the Golem to hit the right side. And the Valkyries will kind of path towards the center there, kind of through that dark elixir, uh, and take out the Inferno Towers. When you are attacking Town Hall 10s, you need to take out the Inferno Towers as quickly as possible. Uh, and so that was my game plan. But in the moments that you will find out, things did not go right. And it was pretty much a big fail, so not good attack at all. Uh, so here we go. Let's see what happens. Now... The main thing here, I dropped the queen in the long, wrong location. If I dropped her just a little to the left, right there to the left, she would actually path to the left, which I wanted her to path to the left. But because I dropped her more south, she did not path. Look, as you can tell, I already knew I was, she, she was going to the right. She's already drifting towards the right, as you can tell. So I knew, oh man, I'm going to have to, you know, in the moment, rethink and re-strategize. So I dropped the golem actually a little further to the left than I wanted. Uh, so the funnel will not be there. I'm about to drop the golem here pretty soon, but I have to use her royal ability because I didn't drop the rage quick enough. Uh, so that was a big mistake on my part. Unfortunately, I lost that wizard there. The cannon locked onto it. I mean, the uh, mortar there. So here, in this moment, this is when I made the big mistake. I still could have actually gotten a three star, but look, I should have brought the Valkyries in toward more to the south towards that dark elixir, but I brought them more towards the east and because of that they drifted out toward the outside so a huge mistake on my part just not being able to uh, kind of play and do an audible during the mid attack since my original plan had gotten skewed off I need to work on that uh, being able to call the audible being able to place the troops in the right place and be able to see it in the moment of course this all has to take place within a couple seconds because if you drop or wait too long you're gonna get the fail so this was a huge big fat fail on my part a one star guys not cool at all so you know that's what happens when you don't funnel properly and with Valkyries that's what it's all about so the next attack I'm gonna show uh, let's see here it's gonna be from actually aims the first now this is how you funnel properly um, and it, it wasn't even the greatest funnel in the sense there could have things that gone wrong but he has low level heroes and he's able to three star this base yes it's not a max town hall 10 but without uh, you know the the max heroes it poses uh, definitely some problems so the main thing that he did, he came from the south. This was the second attack on this base. So he already knew what was in the clan castle. He knew coming from the south would be better. Now he did drop the golem. I would have actually dropped the golem either a little to the west, a little more to create more of that funnel. Uh, but nonetheless, you know, he was patient here. This is the key. Look, he could have dropped the Valkyries right there and then his whole attack would have been haywire. But look, he took out the army camp and that gold storage to ensure the Valkyries would path towards the expo and the uh, air defense. And, and because they path in towards the center there, he was able to get the three star. If he was a little hasty on those... Uh, Valkyrie placements before the army camp went down this would have been a fail so very bright and smart to uh, hold off just a millisecond as you can tell it was one second two seconds or so uh, from a fail to a three-star victory so just bear that in mind even when things are you know getting really tense because I know it happens to me man I get so nervous in the moment when you're making these attacks when you know you need to step up for your clan and uh, you know if you hit the wrong button or just do something a little off you will not get that three star so I understand the pressure I know you do and you know again I have never said in my videos I'm a master 
Well, except at dragons. I'm really good at dragons. But as far as three starring, I'm always learning myself, watching many videos. My favorite is Clash with Ash and uh, other people as well. So I'm always trying to improve my game. And I do this channel uh, because I love the game and I'm, I am getting better for sure and can three star a lot. So the game plan here, I could have actually funneled from uh, Golem that won that end and then the queen on the other. Uh, creating the funnel towards the center there, but I chose not to do that. And you always attack opposite the clan castle when using Valkyries because the, they, the clan castle will lure the Valkyries into the core. But I decided to come in from the corner here thinking, hey, there's a gap there between the Archer Queen and the gap there at the Dark Elixir. Uh, the drill there so I was like hey maybe my, I think my Valkyries will actually path towards that expo once they get into the core that was the plan I was like I'm gonna come in from the corners here Queen will clear one half the golem the other and hopefully the Valkyries will path right kind of making a v-shape if you if you know what I mean Valkyries will kind of drift right in towards that air defense uh, and those storages there. So, unfortunate at the beginning, I did lose too many wizards. I think I should have brought the wall breakers in a tad sooner. I waited a little, a bit too long. So I only have one wizard up there helping out. So that really slowed it down. It didn't create the funnel that I wanted. And I didn't think about the Valkyries might drift off towards that queen. See, that was a big mistake. The Valkyries are going to lock on to, to the Queen a little bit, but even more so, they're going to actually circle the base because I didn't create the funnel. I should have had a few Tracer Valkyries take out some of that uh, that Air Sweeper in the beginning there uh, because I would have three-starred this base. Look at this. It was so close, guys, but look, the Inferno Tower stayed alive, and because that Inferno Tower was alive, look, my King is going down instantaneously. I can't do anything about it. The King is down, and I still would have three-starred this base because I totally forgot about the queen down there. Uh, I just blanked on the queen. I, I, I lost my queen, lost my king. I was like, I knew it was over, so I just, I didn't really quite give up, but I was like depressed. I could did not get the three-star because it's all about funneling. The Valkyries have to take out those Inferno Towers or else um, it's going to be trouble because most bases, if you notice lately, the, the, the Inferno Towers, the kind of core of the base, have been kind of circled in. Uh, so the goal is to help push the Valkyries towards the outside of the base and protect those um, Inferno Towers as long as possible. Here's a three-star attack from me. Yes, it's not a Town Hall 10. Uh, max Town Hall 10. I know this for sure. So I know I should definitely three-star this base, but if I don't funnel properly, it's going to be a fail. So what do I do here? I bring three Rage. The reason being I bring three Rage is because... Uh, the uh, I, I knew the queen would need help because there's so many units on the outside, those defensive structures. I knew she needed extra rage, so I brought one extra rage for her. The goal was to create the funnel into the core. I do know there's archers and witches in the clan castle, so it'll path greatly for the Valkyries. They'll lock on to those. I'm still kind of creating this V-shape. Uh, gonna drop the golem here. I do misplace the golem. I wanted the golem to go a little farther east uh, so that it would lock on, lock on to the wizard tower. As you can tell, the wizard tower is not there. So the here we go. The, as far as the golem did get in a little, uh, I, I was able to bring in the wall breakers. The queen almost went down. I had to use her royal ability and her rage. There was two expos on her. So the key here though, I brought in the wall breakers first and then I brought in the Valkyries. And because I'd taken out that wizard tower and kind of enough of the funnel, the Valkyries passed right towards where I wanted them. And once they are there in the core, I knew that this was over because once the clan castle comes out, many of those Valkyries will come back and destroy those inferno towers. Uh, the free spell was dropped on the opposite end because on the uh, you want to always do opposite end free spell for the Inferno Tower because the Valkyries move so quickly uh, and destroy units so fast. Uh, again, this was a three star attack. Tons of Valkyries left. I should have had it done, of course, but if I had failed on the funnel, been bad news for sure. Anyways, thanks again, guys, for watching. Please subscribe. I appreciate it. And as always, see you next time.